Hey guys, so I've been really enjoying the Raspberry Pi. It's been excellent and it's the perfect solution for my arcade build. And um, I've just been over the last couple of weeks, you know, getting to grips with it, learning how to use it and learning all the different things about it. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 3B. I know the 3B Plus is out and it does have a cooler. It does have a, a better processor and it runs a lot cooler. But for this one, I'm, I want to get a heatsink for it. Now it's a very small device and the heat sinks to themselves are gonna be quite small. And I bought this case for it. I've been using it inside of this case so far. And at times I found it does run a little bit hot. So what I've done is I've been looking around and I found a new case that actually came with a heat sink. So I'm, I want to do like a, 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 a kind of like a comparison and run the Raspberry Pi without a heat sink to see how hot it's been getting. Because I have been, when it gets a little bit too hot, you get a little screen icon that shows up, a little temperature gauge, which tells you it's running a little bit too hot and it needs cooling down. Uh, so I, I give it a little blow and it, <laughs> it cools it down. But I guess the ideal solution is to get a heat sink. So I've been looking around online. Um, I actually saw a video of another YouTuber who posted up a, a, a kind of a really cool case for the Raspberry Pi, which actually came with a heat sink. And I was quite impulsed. And I thought it's, it's a cool case. And at the same time, you get a, a decent heat sink. So I, I thought I'd try it out. And uh, yeah, I went and bought it. So here it is. Uh, this is a new case. It's a Super Nintendo style kind of case. So um, I'll open it up and that's pretty much it. It's a little kind of uh, American style Super Nintendo case. So I'm going to, I don't have to use this case. I can still use the old one, I guess. I think the, the, the heat sink is essentially going to sit on top uh, of the Raspberry Pi here. But here is the heat sink that came with it. So it's um, it's metal, and uh, yeah, that sits on top of the. It's going to sit on top of the Raspberry Pi on here. It's going to actually. It's got two parts that it's going to cool down. So uh, the larger CPU chip and the, and the smaller processor here. Uh, the, those two black one. Those two black things sit in there essentially. Now most heat sinks that I've seen online are kind of individual heat sinks and. This one looks like it kind of covers the whole unit, which is quite unique. So I'm going to try it out and see if it does a good job. But what I want to do first is run the Raspberry Pi normally, give it about a half an hour to an hour to run, warm up and see actually how hot it's getting normally. I'll give it 24 hours and let it cool down and I'll insert the heat sink and then again run it and see what the kind of differences is just to test out it's basically a test for this heat sink and see if it's actually good do they actually properly work it kind of makes sense to get a, a heat sink you would on a normal computer you get a heat sink and a fan i think a fan i'm not sure at this point if i need one but i just want to run the heat sink and see how it runs okay so i'll put the raspberry pi into its standard case here uh do notice that this raspberry this case doesn't have any kind of vents on the bottom of it, uh, but this case actually does. So when the Raspberry Pi goes inside of here, it's actually gonna have some vents underneath, which is gonna be a little bit more of a bonus over this case. So again, it might have that edge, uh, but we'll see. So let's pop the lid on here. I'm gonna plug in the Raspberry Pi, let it run for about an hour and see just how hot it gets. Uh, on a normal run okay okay we're not long after first boot up it's been a few minutes and currently the temperature on the cpu is 42 degrees and the graphics processing unit 42 degrees so we're gonna leave it run for another half an hour to an hour and we'll see if there's any difference this is running now without the heat sink so yeah let's see how hot it can get Okay, so it's been over an hour now, so we're gonna shut down the system and we're gonna check the temperature. I've been playing some games just to get it warmed up and uh, get some usage out of it. So we're gonna quit, I'm just gonna check the temperature now and see what the measurements are. So currently we are at 65 degrees C on the CPU and on the GPU. 
so around 65 so again this is without the heat sink so we're gonna switch it all off for the night give it 24 hours come back tomorrow install the heat sink and uh, yeah test and see what other uh, results we can get so that's after an hour of usage and uh, we'll see if we get any better results tomorrow okay so it's day two and we're gonna get the heat sink now uh, attached onto the Raspberry Pi and we're going to swap it into this case because it's got some ventilation at the bottom so we're going to do that and see what the kind of comparison in uh, heat generation is. Uh, when you're installing the or any heat shield what you want to do is you want to actually buy some kind of heat sink compound uh, it's kind of thermally conductive silicone grease basically gives insulation and protection to the electrical components on the motherboard so um, basically helps with heat dissipation and protects against shock and contamination and um, basically I think if you don't put it on there it doesn't really properly work <laughs> so uh, you can't just put a heat sink onto a unit like that it needs to have that silicone grease so I've got some here I'm gonna dab just a little bit onto each chip uh, that one and the smallest bit on that because when you press down uh, it should then you know spread out so there's no need to spread it out so I'm going to put the smallest bits on we'll get it all attached and then set up and then plugged into the new case so yeah let's do it okay so we're all plugged in and connected we've got first boot up so we're just going to go and switch this off and just check the current temperature so machine's been on for about one or two minutes. Current temperature on the CPU is 29 degrees and on the GPU 30 degrees. So a little bit less than yesterday. Yesterday I think it started at about 47. So we're gonna play some games, let it run for an hour. The time there is 6.23. So we're gonna come back about 7.23 or half seven and do a comparison. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I've played about half a dozen games. So we're gonna exit this now and gonna check the temperature and see what we've got here. Okay, so time is now 7.35. CPU temperature 53 degrees. GPU 54 degrees. So definitely significantly cooler than yesterday. I think we were running about 60, over well over 60 degrees, weren't we? After about an hour's gameplay. So yeah, much, much cooler. So just in closing, you can just see a little comparison screenshot here uh, showing the uptime and the temperature differences. So yeah, thanks for watching.